how it came about is we used to go see John's previous band, Revenant, at Studio One. And then my friend Roy found out that Revenant wasn't playing. John was starting a new band. We went to go see them in New York with Mortician and Snag. Uh, we became friends from there. And then John was like, I need a, a logo. So I was just drawing up different logos. Like yeah. I said, I draw logos. a whole logos. bunch of different ones here. Yeah. Check Got this version was like some of the time. Oh yeah. And these older. Basically I, I like to hear the band and my idea comes from the sound of the band. Like what am, what am I envisioning when I'm hearing the music, you know? Like and that's how it it kind of just stemmed from like I think it's probably like one of the first ones I drew. What was it? The, this one. That was probably the first one. Because it had the uh the inverted T's. Yes, that's right. That's right, I remember that now. And then it kind of turned into this, a simple one. And then this is kind of probably the closest to the original, probably. Yeah. Yeah, was, I think it, if I remember, it was just kind of like, you said the cup, you know, one or whatever, and be like, okay, maybe more like this, or like, yeah, that, like yeah. throwing a little like bit throw of Like throw the T, turn the T's around, you can't, you don't know what it says, like no one's ready for that. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it's not as like simple and laid out like Death's is, you know, yeah. it's like. It was too, it was a little bit too, yeah, intangible. Like you want, I wanted it to be sick and look, um, you know, just, you know, look like the music, but at the same time, I did want it to be somewhat legible and stuff, and that yeah. was, um. That would, you know, because at that time, th even that logo, people would look at it and be like, what does that say? Like, they, they people just weren't ready for something yeah. that disgusting looking logo wise. So when he originally reached out to you about this logo, um, what were some characteristics about him? So this film is mainly about his journey, his life, um, who he is as a person. Mm -hmm. So what could you add about like him at this point in time well at that point john was in like three brutal bands at the time in the new jersey new york area he was in revenant which was brutal then he was playing in that show when i met him was uh mortician he was playing in mortician yeah and then incantation so it's like this guy is like you know he's like he's making moves <laughs> in the scene like he He's like creating all these genres of death metal within New Jersey and New York. Like it's crazy. It was like the early time. So John was definitely like a leader, you know, like in the scene. Like everybody, you know, wanted to jam with McIntyre, you know. That's cool. You know, so. Um, all right, so let's 